Hi everyone, Fatma here from Addictive Tips and I'm going to show you how you can import HDR photos from an iPhone on Windows 10. So on your iPhone you need to make sure that the photos you're capturing are in HDR. HDR is enabled by default but not all photos you take are taken in HDR. So open the camera app and type this HDR option on the side and then select on. This is going to make sure that the photo you capture at the moment is taken in HDR. Go ahead and take a photo of something and after that you need to connect your iPhone to your Windows 10 PC. Now with the iPhone you can just copy the HDR photos over from the camera roll and it's pretty easy to do that but you need to know which photo it is that you're looking at. So open File Explorer and go to your camera roll and look for the image that you want to copy. It's likely that there's two copies of the image. The first is going to be the HDR image and the second is going to be the original image as it was captured without the HDR images compiled together. There's a subtle difference between these two so what you can do is you can copy them both over, compare them and keep the one that you like better. You can also import photos from the Photos app on Windows 10. Open the Photos app and click this Import button at the top. It's going to list the devices that you can import photos from. Um, I'm going to select my iPhone. It's going to scan your iPhone for all the photos that can be imported. Let the scan complete and select only the HDR photos that you want to import. And again, you're going to get the original photo right next to it. If you can tell which is the HDR photo, that's great. You can just go ahead and import that one. If you can't tell, go ahead and import both the HDR and the original photo. Compare the two and keep the one that you like. Now a lot of people are interested in importing the three photos that are taken in an HDR photo to combine and make one photo. But iOS does not give you access to those three photos. You only get the compiled version, even if you're using a Mac. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later with more tech tips.